Hello everybody, welcome to my holiday haul part two, episode two. I just put out a holiday haul part two yesterday with all the dry goods and the sweets and all the stuff that's delicious. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the refrigerated and frozen items and then the body care stuff. So this is my favorite holiday haul so far because if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know that I'm not like the biggest sweets person and especially during this season, I get sweets out so quickly. So this is all the savory stuff. Let's go ahead and get started with this haul. So I'm starting with the body care, which is my favorite part of shopping for this haul because it was just fun to shop for. So here is the gingerbread scented candle. This thing smells so good and I've been buying these candles now for every season. The pumpkin one, the apple cider one, and this is the gingerbread. It smells incredible. So I highly recommend if you go to Trader Joe's, at the very least, just smell it to see if you like it. Um, but it these candles burn really well. They smell amazing. They make your kitchen or your wherever you want to burn it smell really good. Here's the seasonal body butter in warm vanilla. Everybody loves this body butter because it's very thick and moisturizing and it does soak into your skin so it doesn't leave like an oily residue like a lot of body butters do. This scent is very nice and it's not overwhelming like some of the other scents can be. Next is this lip scrub and this is a treatment duo with a lip scrub and lip balm and it does have SPF 15 in the lip balm which is always nice to have when you put on any kind of skincare to make sure you're having SPF on your face especially we did get this in last year and I've heard that we sold out of this so quickly everybody loved it um, these are really cute gifts too so I can't wait to try it I didn't even get a chance to buy it last year so I'm excited to try it this year Next are the bath fizzers sets and I got two of these because last year I remember getting these and I used them and they were so nice and I love giving these as gifts as well. Just be warned if you guys have a sensitive smeller, these are extremely scented so when you buy them like your all your groceries, everything smells, your whole house smells. This stuff is very scented, but it smells really good. I'm just trying to warn you guys because I have a sensitive sense of smell, and so um, these sometimes are really strong, especially if they're in a room and you guys just don't wanna smell something very smelly. The scents in here include Floral Fantasy, Rejuvenating Rosemary, Sweet Pea Apple, and Rose Petal. I believe these were the same scents as they had last year as well. Moving on to the soap and lotion gift sets and I do buy this every year and put it out in my kitchen. It smells amazing. White pine, it's very nice like pine scented soap and the lotion smells the exact same and it does come in this cute little um, metal caddy here so it's easy just to set out and then put away when the season is over. These are new exfoliating body scrub trio these look amazing we have the brown sugar scrub the citrus scrub and green tea scrub and this citrus one has pink himalayan salt in it i believe this is also new this is a face mask trio and it has the clay detox mask pineapple papaya enzyme mask and then the rose gel mask so i'm excited to try all these i love face masks they are something that is so fun to do especially when you need a little refresh so these are a nice gift again all these are perfect for gifts but a lot of these things i want to try myself um, next is the ultra moisturizing hand cream i've bought these several years in the past these are First of all, very mild in scent, but all the scents I absolutely love. And this lotion is super moisturizing. I get really dry hands during the winter, so especially when I work, washing my hands so much and just touching cardboard and stuff, these things tend to just do the trick when I need a really moisture heavy lotion. So this is definitely something that you can use if you have really dry skin. And again, the scents are very mild, so they're not like overbearing. Next is this body butter trio, and these are just more body butters, but in cute little tins. The scents in here are almond honey, lemon verbena, and frosted berry. I have not smelled any of these yet, so I will have to get back to you on that. 
And then lastly in the body care is this Ginger Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. And I love the scent of ginger, so I cannot wait to try this. And it's gonna probably be similar to the rose hand cream that I have showed in the past haul. So very exciting. Can't wait to try tons of this body stuff. Now, moving on to the frozen and refrigerated foods. So I'm gonna start with this creamy roasted cauliflower and onion dip. I did buy two because I bought tons of these last year. These are so freaking good. If you guys don't buy anything in this haul but one thing, I highly recommend you try this. This roasted cauliflower dip is so flavorful and delicious, and it is cauliflower, so you are reducing your um, calories by a lot, and you just heat it in the microwave and serve, and it's ready to go, and this is a huge hit at parties. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. Next is the Hold the Cone Peppermint Flavored Ice Cream Cones, and these, again, are People love these things. When I went to buy these at my store, there were only like three boxes left, and it was only, I think, 11 o'clock in the morning. So these things go really fast, and they are very delicious and very tempting to have more than just one because they are very small. Moving on to the mini Stroop Waffle, and these are new. These are caramel waffle cookies filled with salted caramel ice cream. I mean, hello. Delicious, cannot wait to try this myself. And then we have here the Nantucket style cranberry pie. I did try this at work. This is so good. I was expecting this to be a little more sweet and it wasn't, it had a good tartness and the sweetness was just perfect. It wasn't overbearing, it wasn't like extremely sweet or extremely tart. The balance was perfect in this cranberry pie. So if you guys are looking for something that's not like exceptionally sweet, but something that tastes very delicious and you love cranberries, Definitely check this out. This is frozen, so if you're looking for it, it's in the frozen section. And then I have hiding behind here the Yule Log Ice Cream, and it is just a creamy ice cream with chocolate cake pieces and cocoa swirl. Hello, sounds delicious. Again, Trader Joe's always killing it in the frozen food section. And then this also is new. I think this is new. I don't remember this last year. Actually, maybe we did have this last year, but this is the triple ginger cake. This is also frozen. And if you guys like ginger, um, Trader Joe's has done ginger right for years. They're notorious for their gluten-free ginger cookies. So if you guys like ginger, definitely check this one out. This is brand new. I cannot wait to try this. Crispy vegetable pouches. These are crispy wontons filled with savory veggies. And I believe these are vegetarian. Let me just double check for you. Yes, these are definitely vegetarian. So if you guys are veggies like me, check these out frozen again. Here's the cinnamon roll wreath. I got this last year. The only disappointment with this is that it doesn't come with icing and it is a little bit dry. So I wasn't blown away. I really was excited to try this because I love cinnamon rolls. Um, and especially the fact that it looks like it's in a wreath is so cute, but I didn't really like they didn't have the icing. It does include a recipe so you can make your own icing, which is fine. And I did try it, it just didn't turn out very well. So this year I will have to try again. And then these are the mini cannolis. Oh my gosh. So these are probably gonna be gifted to my dad. He loves cannolis and they look delicious. So I cannot wait to um, share these one night when we're just feeling like a really yummy dessert. And they are basically classic cannoli shells lined with dark chocolate and filled with creamy buffalo milk ricotta. Yummy. Moving on, here are the Herbaceous Cheesy Bites. These are made with mozzarella, parmesan, cream cheese, and a blend of garlic and herbs, and yummy. These look so dang good. So Trader Joe's is notorious for rolling out all the most amazing appetizers for all the holiday parties that are going on, and I love to eat appetizers as a meal, so it works perfect for me. They also brought in this new veggie tray, which I'm so excited to try because the ranch dip is vegan. So all those vegans out there that love watching these hauls, um, this is for you guys. You guys can obviously eat all the veggies and then that vegan ranch I heard is so good. I'm actually bringing this to um, Thanksgiving as a appetizer. So we'll see how everybody likes it. 
but it does have a good amount of veggies in here and it looks like the ranch comes in a pretty big tub as well. Moving on to the last few frozen items. So what I have here is a broccoli and cauliflower gratin. This looks amazing and it looks like it would serve a family because it's pretty hefty and it's actually very heavy as well. Um, but yeah, it's just a cauliflower gratin. So if you guys like cauliflower stuff, check this one out. This is new, mint flavored fudge brownie bars. Dang, they keep coming out with these brownie bar things and they look so good, but this is mint. So I'm probably not gonna be gushing over it like some people that love mint will, but these, um, I'm sure these will be a hit at any holiday party if you guys wanna put these out. What the instructions say here is remove packaging and place on a serving dish. Cover lightly in plastic wrap and defrost in the refrigerator for four hours before serving or one hour at room temperature. So if you guys are planning on using this, just beware. You do need to let it sit out for a few hours if you're refrigerating it or an hour if you're leaving it on the counter. And then the last few frozen items are these uncured bacon wrapped dates stuffed with goat cheese. Haven't been able to try these in years, obviously don't eat meat. And then the second thing is the scalped wrapped, scallops wrapped in uncured bacon with brown sugar glaze. And these guys are, people go nuts. I have had people buy several of these at a time because they do go fast and they are perfect for appetizers, but a lot of people buy them for themselves just to eat alone because they apparently are delicious. And then here is the camembert cheese and cranberry sauce phyllo bites. I have made these in the past and I wasn't the biggest fan. I felt like the um, cheese just didn't complement the cranberry like I would have imagined it to. I will give these a go again and see if I like them this year. I think this was like three or four years ago that I tried them, so I gotta give them another chance. And then here we have the cauliflower pancakes, and these look like latkes to me. I love how Trader Joe's is incorporating a lot more cauliflower things, a lot more imitation things with cauliflower because it just makes things a little healthier and I don't know I'm excited to try these and then this is the Hasselback potatoes with butter and sea salt I bought these every year that these have been out I buy them they're very very yummy um, Tim and I will make them for dinner every so often they're just easy to put in to the oven and cook and then you can jazz them up with sour cream or whatever else you like to add to your potatoes but just as is is delicious as well so this guy right here is refrigerated and this is a mashed sweet potatoes with pecans and i believe you just microwave this because it's pretty much pre-cooked um i'm pretty sure all the things okay you can do it in the oven too so you can prepare this in the oven or the microwave depending on how much time you have but um yeah it looks good it's just traditional sweet potatoes, but they added the pecans in there. So here are the side dishes that we do have up until New Year's. Sometimes they even go over New Year's, but these are great to throw in the microwave, or I believe you can also cook these in the oven as well. Here is the roasted veggies with garlic and herbs. This is delicious. I love making this as a meal. I've had this several times every year. I love buying this. It's one of my favorites. Along with this, the cauliflower gratin. This is amazing as well and it's baked in a creamy cheese sauce with Parmesan and herbed breadcrumbs. Then there's the corn pudding. This is just a, you know, the take on the traditional cream corn that you have during the holidays, and there is mozzarella and Parmesan cheese in this as well. And then the scalloped potatoes with Quattro Formaggio. This is probably one of the best sellers of the four here, just because Quattro Formaggio is so good. If you guys haven't tried the bag of cheese that Trader Joe's sells, that's Quattro Formaggio, I highly recommend it. Making a pizza with that will change your life, but these potatoes are delicious. And then I got the brown sugar cinnamon cream cheese spread. We get this every year, and I think this is, I mean, you can use this on anything, really, but bagels are probably what I'm gonna use this on, or maybe, I don't know, you can maybe use this as an icing on sugar cookies, or something like that, so we'll see. I'll try to get creative with this one. And I got two cheeses, which I'm also bringing with me to Thanksgiving, so this is the garlic and herb stuffed brie, and you can actually see it there. It's like in the middle of the brie. Looks so yummy, I can't wait to open this and try it. 
And then the rosemary goat's milk cheese, which also looks amazing because I love rosemary. So you can see the rind has all the rosemary on there. So it is edible. When you guys buy this, you can eat the rind and that's where the rosemary is. And then lastly, I got these two things. So I got the eggnog yogurt, which I love. I got this last year and it tastes exactly like eggnog. It's amazing. And then of course the almond nog, which I have raved about in my previous holiday haul. They finally got it in and yes, I did buy an entire case, which is in my outside refrigerator right now because I am obsessed with this almond nog. I have to admit, I've already opened one and drank an entire carton because it is that good. Um, but yes, so I bought a case and <laughs> it lasts until December 30th. I'm hoping I can drink it all by then. Um, Tim loves it too, so what can I say? I highly recommend it. This and the cauliflower onion dip are my two favorite things that I have shared with you guys in this haul. Here's just an overview one last time. I hope you guys liked all this food. There is so much stuff and so much variety for everyone with every different taste. I hope you guys loved this haul as much as I loved filming it. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video if you wanna see more, just like it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.